As a student ministry, we've been challenging our students to bring people to Jesus. And one of the promising trends we're seeing in this younger generation, this millennial generation, is that uh, those, those people in that generation are very open to spiritual things. They're looking for authenticity and they're looking for community. And when they come to church, they don't just wanna play a bunch of crazy games and get a free iPad and then go home. They wanna encounter the living God and they wanna have an experience with him. They wanna know him more. And so we looked at our student ministry and we said, where does authenticity and community happen best in our student ministry? And when we looked at every single thing we did, we looked at it and we said, wow, everything we do is perfect. All right, we didn't actually say that, that was a joke. But we looked at it and we said, man, journey groups, there's so much authenticity, so much community happening there. And so we've been really challenging our students, hey, as you bring your friends to Jesus, one of the great opportunities that you have is to bring them to journey groups with you, especially friends who don't yet know Jesus Christ. And so some of our students and some of our groups have really been nailing this whole thing that we've been challenging them with. One of those groups was a group that their story started a year ago. Two girls, uh, Hannah and Tara, who go to Millard West, they're high school students. And, and last year, one of the girls was at her school and she looked around and she noticed another girl who had cuts up and down her arm. And so she, she approached her and she began to befriend her. And then eventually she decided, hey, I'm gonna ask her to come to journey groups and to come to church with me. She didn't know her background. She didn't know what she would say, but she asked. And the girl, it made her day. She said, yes, I would love to come with you. Here's a picture of, uh, of the girls' journey group to where it is now. And so Tara and Hannah, they began inviting more friends from school. And then other friends who they didn't even invite heard how cool and great church was. And so they began inviting themselves to come along with them. And so now all of a sudden, at the end of last school year, there was uh, those two girls and like five other girls coming with them on a regular basis. Most of them had no knowledge or experience of Jesus Christ whatsoever. It's awesome. And then this year started up and even more friends started coming and a bunch of them came to our fall retreat this past November. And it's so awesome that because uh, these girls started inviting their friends, two of them have now decided to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Yeah, isn't that awesome? And others of the friends, they're coming and they're learning things that they've never learned before about Jesus. And I asked one of the original girls, I said, do you have any advice for us? as we bring our friends to Jesus as a church, what would you tell people? And she said this. She said, it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. And it's true. You know, we don't have to know all the answers when we go out to share our faith. We don't even have to know how the person's gonna respond when we share our faith. We don't even have to be perfectly sinless because it's all about Jesus. And it's amazing what Jesus does when we bring others to him.